Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to get this Osu cursor trail. You've probably seen this on YouTube before, and a lot of people say you you, can, you can't make your cursor like this, but you definitely can, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. First, you want to just go to your skins, pick any skin you want that has a trail. I'm just going to go with this skin right here, and you see it does have a trail, so what you want to do is first make your cursor size 0 0.6 once you do that you want to open up your osu skin folder scroll down a bit and you'll see your cursor images and your cursor trails now i have two cursor images and two cursor trail images you might only have one of each it doesn't matter uh if you follow the tutorial it'll work so you want to have Photoshop or another photo software. Paint works as well. MS Paint works, yeah. So you want to first take your cursor image, your first one. It, there's no order. I'm going to use I'm going to do cursor.png first. I'm going to place it into Photoshop. And these are simple steps. All I have to do is go to image size. I'm going to take the current pixels of my image so width and height is 128 I'm gonna do 128 times 0 0.6 and I get 77 so I'm gonna change the width and height to 77 so you just want to multiply your current pixels to 0 0.6 once you do that you want to export as a PNG image make sure you're exporting this to the right uh, file, your skin file right here. You just don't want to mess with the name. You just want to save and replace it. And that's first thing. That's first step done. Next one. So since we did that, we're gonna do this next cursor. Same thing. Image size. This time my image, my pixels are two fifty six. So I'm going to do 256 times 0 0.6. I get 153. Just going to change that. OK. Export as PNG. Make sure in the right file of your skin, obviously. And once you do that, you, do, you don't have to change anything for cur your cursor smoke. If you have a cursor smoke, you don't have to mess with that. All you have to mess with is the cursor and the cursor trail. So next, we're going to do this cursor trail right here. I'm just going to X this out. I'm just going to drag this cursor trail in. We're doing the same steps. Open up image size. This time, my it's 80 pixels. So I'm going to do 80 times 0 0.6. I get 48. It's gonna change make sure you change both to 48 or whatever your answer was and then you press ok and then export quick export no need to change name make sure it write skin folder whatever your skin name was and then save yes okay now that we've done that I only have one more left now make sure you only do this you make sure you do it for all the cursor images and cursor trails you don't have to do it for the cursor smokes, but just the image and the trail. Just the cursor and the trail, I mean. So image size, same thing. This time it's 100. I do 100 times 0 0.6. I get 60. Make sure you change for both. OK. Export it again. Make sure your right skin folder, save replace now our last step open back up your skin folder and download the image in the link in the description and you just want to put it in here anywhere so you've done that x out of this open up osu so your skin hasn't changed yet so you just want to refresh it by just selecting another skin and then going back to the skin and you'll see it's a much smaller now what you want to do is go to your cursor size, make this anything above one. I'm just going to do 1.4 and it, it already looks amazing. 
So you can see that this does work and it works for any skin that has a trail. You guys, uh, if you have any problems, make sure to leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you want to change the color of your cursor, you can manually do that in Photoshop by changing the hue. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you have any problems, make sure to tell me in the comments. Peace.